And now the latest scores and highlights from across the River Region. This is Evening Edition Sports. Local high school Anna Jonesboro has suspended three of their football players. District Superintendent Wab Wright was, says the three students were suspended after a bullying incident of a minor. Although no names or ages were released, we know that one of the players was also a minor, while the other two were of age. Were of, uh, were of age. Wright noted that the school has informed law enforcement and it is cooperating fully with them. This, a special school board meeting will be held on November 3rd to consider the expulsion of the three students. The SIU men and women's golf team finished out both of their tournaments yesterday. The men's team tied for fourth out of 12 with Belmont at the Austin P tournament. Drew Navarro took the team by storm, matching the current school record with a 64 in the final round. This was the best round set of any golfer at the tournament. The women's golf team played in the Blue Raider Invitational and placed eighth with a score of 301 in the second round. The second day held more challenges for, as the women finished with 311. This course was the largest for the dogs as this course was the largest the dogs have ever played at 6,389 yards. These tournaments were the last of the fall season for both the men and women. Play will resume in February. Football is a sport with a lot of action, but many people aren't aware of the action that happens before kickoff. This coming Saturday will be SIU's homecoming game against Indiana State which means tailgating at the stadium will be packed. Like every home game, tailgating at SIU brings in a different environment for students and, st students and staff. Many students enjoy the before game tailgates because it gives them the opportunity to socialize with other students they wouldn't usually talk to. It's a completely intoxicating environment where you can be around people who just are here for the love of the football games. Uh, I personally have a few friends who are on the football teams who come and support the full frontal of you know, maroon, black and white. Uh, but besides that, you really get to run into a lot of people who you see on campus but never personally connect with. And this is a kind of free-flowing environment where you can basically meet everybody that you want to get in contact with and talk uh, off the books, so to speak. Join us tomorrow at 5 when our Saluki Sports View reporter, Gabe Pishkadamian, goes into more depth about all of the tailgating activities here at SIU. SIU will be hosting their annual homecoming game this Saturday against Indiana State. Kickoff will be at 6 p.m. at the Saluki Stadium. The Salukis have beaten the Sycamores in 10 of the past 11 matchups. Yet the one lone game against the Dogs came the last time the team squared off here in Carbondale. But if you can't make it to the game this Saturday, it's okay, as it will be streaming on the Valley TV, ESP3, ESPN3, and live streamed online at Saluki All Access. Game 1 of the World Series was held last night in Kansas State. It was a blowout game as the San Francisco Giants ran over the Kansas City Royals 7-1. The game began with the Giants scoring three runs in the first inning, with Pablo Sandoval hitting an RBI double to right. Then Hunter Pence hits a home run over the center field wall, allowing Sandoval to come home for another two runs. Giants ace Madison Bumgarner continues his postseason dominance, throwing seven innings of one run ball while striking out five. Giants manager Bruce Bochy was excited to see his plays perform so well last night, including Hunter Pence, who Bochy believes came up big for the team. You know, he's a great talent, and he's a good hitter, and. Uh... You know, uh, like all good hitters, uh, you know, they, uh, you know, ha have their ups and downs. But this guy, he's really been so consistent for us all year. Game two will be held tonight in Kansas City. The first, the first pitch will be at 7.07. Well, thank you, Sydney. Thanks, guys.